shall die like men, right? And fall like one of the princes. It doesn't say one of the princesses, right? So when it goes into that, the angels, this is talking about the Israelites. And you had Malachi. First Hashers, first Hashers 1 and 40, Nahum and Habakkuk, Habakkuk and Zephaniah and Haggai, Zechariah and Malachi, which is called also an angel of the Lord. The word angel means messenger. So going back to over here. And the angels which kept not their first estate are, where's the other one too? Is Revelation. Yeah, let me let me get it down manually then. I think I put it somewhere, but anyway. Wait. Right, I already got it. It was here. Revelation two and four. Nevertheless, I have somewhat against thee. Because thou has left thy first love. That was our first estate. Proverbs chapter 5, for example. And also, Proverbs chapter 1. <laughs> Remember the law of thy father and thy mother. And uh, yeah. Remember therefore from whence thou art fallen. Who are the fallen ones? The ones in Isaiah, uh, Psalms 82. We ye shall fall like men. And also... Uh, rules of David. David is fallen here and here. Amos 9:11. In that day, will I rise up the tabernacle of David that is fallen, and close up the breaches thereof, and I will raise up his ruins, and will build it as in the days of old. So the tabernacle of David is fallen. And the Lord will close up the breaches thereof so that we are going to be together and everybody else, all the all the other Israelites are going to be cut off, cut out of that circle. <laughs> and I will raise up his ruins and will build it as in the days of old. Guess what? That superpower is going to come back because King David and his mighty men had it. Acts 15 and 16. After this, I will return. And will build again the tabernacle of David, which is fallen down. And I will build again the ruins thereof. And I will set it up. As in the days of old. Remember therefore from whence thou art fallen, and repent. And do the first works, which is in this truth of Yahweh Basham Yahushai. Proverbs 5. Don't go to another woman. Stay with wisdom. That woman is our wife, our mother, our sister, our uh, kinswoman which is your family member or else I will come unto thee quickly and will remove thy candlestick out of his place except thou repent that candlestick is the light but if you repent from your evil ways then he will not remove it right uh, now another precept for the angels that kept not their first estate which is then therefore hmm. The book of John also. Ten, I think. Here. Right. Another one which Yahawashai said himself. John chapter 10, verse 31. Then the Jews took up stones again to stone him. Yahawashai answered them, Many good works have I shown, or shewed, or shown, which it means showed, you from my father. For which of those works do you stone me? <laughs> he was being funny. The Jews answered him, saying, for a good work we stone thee not, but for blasphemy. And because thou, being a man, makest thyself God. Yahweh answered them, Is it not written in your law? Because they was all about Moses and stuff like that. So he was cutting them like, hey, wait a minute. Isn't that written in the law that you believe in that you call yours? Because in the book of... Um, where was it again? For we are Moses' disciples. Oh yeah, uh, Romans 9, Luke 9. 
Or is it Luke 9 or Romans 9? I think it was, it was the mark then. No, then it was. I don't think it was John. Yeah, it was John. <laughs> because he said here, because they said here, John 9 and 28. Then they reviled him and said, Thou art, thou art his disciples, disciple, but we are. Of Moses disciples so they was believing in Moses it was like we ain't got nothing to do with this this guy that you, you're the, his disciples we are the disciples of Moses so now where's it again yeah how wish I answered them is it not written in your law I said ye are gods and if he Yahweh, called them the Israelites gods unto whom the word of God came and the scripture cannot be broken. So guess what? If Yahweh called the sons of Yahweh, the, the Israelites, if he called him the sons of Yahweh and, and said, ye are gods, and the scripture cannot be broken, meaning it is truthful, you know, it, it's you can't go against it. <laughs> so what are you talking about? I am a god. But he was he's not the heavenly father. But they, being stupid, and they think they know better, be like, hey, man, you ain't the heavenly father. He didn't say that. Say ye of him who the Father had sanctified. See, he does re re reference the Father. And sent into the world, thou blasphemous, because I said, I am the Son of God. Yeah. If I do not the works of my Father, believe me not. But if I do, though ye believe not me, believe the works, that ye may know and believe that the Father is in me and I in him. Therefore they sought again to take him, but he escaped out of their hand. You can see what type of miserable people were there upon the planet Earth. <laughs> Israelites. And the angels which kept not their first estate, which is talking about the Israelites, is not talking about actual angels that was uh, running amok against, uh, against Yahweh, Basham, Yahshai. Romans 8 and 16. The Spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit. So the Bible itself beareth witness with our um, us in the physical form. That we are the children of uh, Yahweh. Why? Because the Bible documents that the curses that will come upon the Israelites, which is linked to our spirits, which is found in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28, among other chapters, that we are the children of Yahweh, the sons of Yahweh. Like I said, the word children, is, it doesn't exist in the Hebrew. It says sons. And if children, and if sons, then heirs, heirs of Yahweh, and joint heirs with Yahweh Shai. If so be that we suffer with him, that we may be also glorified together. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. This is one of the glories that shall be revealed in us. You know what I'm saying? Where is it? He, he got shot? No, no, I don't want that. He, he, he's shaving up. This one I want. See the eagle in the back? He just flew off. And then that's one of the glories that we're going to get. That's one of the glories. And we're not going to be talking to these cops and being all funny and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? And by the way, this dude smacked the Chrissy. I don't even want to talk about it. I just say he's an actor and then uh, I'm done. You know what I mean? Like, ain't no way a person of his composure would do that shit. But anyway. It's just a movie, man. The whole world is a scene. Just like how this guy said. Just like how this devil said. In politics, nothing happens by accident. If it happens, you can bet it was planned that way. Satan, Roosevelt. Yeah, Frankenstein. Demon. So, uh, I, I can show you more powers and stuff like that, for example. And show you this. This is just uh, this, these are just visual aspects. This is what he can do with a tank. You know, this is what we will be able to do. So, it's not that it can be compared to the glory that will be revealed in us. For the earnest expectation of the creature, which is we are the creature, waited for the manifestation of the sons of God. We're waiting for it. 
others are waiting for it unto their own destruction. It's just like how the Lord said, Woe unto you that wait for the day of the Lord, because that day is the destruction unto you. But you don't know it yet. For the creature was made subject. Yeah, I don't have to read that. You can read this uh, if you have the time. Now, this is First John chapter 3, verse 1. Behold, what manner of love had the... Uh, what manner of love the Father had bestowed upon us, that we should be called the sons of God. Therefore, it's not the children of God, it's the sons of God. Therefore, the world knoweth us not, because it knew him not, beloved. Now are we the sons of God, and it doth not yet appear what we shall be. But we know that when he shall appear, <laughs> we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. And every man that had this hope in him purified himself, even as he is pure. That's what we're waiting for. Whosoever committed sin transgressed also the law, for sin is the transgression of the law. And ye know that he was manifest to take away our sins, Yao Shai, and in him is no sin. Wherefore, well, who, sorry, whosoever abided in him sinneth not. Whosoever sinneth had not seen him neither know him so you ain't a part of this little and every man sinners but not every man sinners willingly that's in the book of romans chapter 7 for example but I, I think i have that somewhere here yeah little children let no man deceive you he that doeth righteousness is righteous even as he is righteous he that committed sin is of the devil you're of satan my man the for the devil sinned from the beginning and that goes back to cain for this purpose, the Son of God was manifest, Yahweh Shai, that he might destroy the works of the devil. And one of the and one of the last deaths, one of the last uh, works, he's going to destroy his death, because through sin come death, and the, through the woman came sin in the world, right? But she got tricked, she got beguiled, and she's getting tricked nowadays again. Look at this! I just jumped in my head, man. This female, um, this beast. This ball hair ho. I love, I love, I love Willie D. That song, it's an old school song. Ball hair ho. <laughs> What's her name again, man? Jada Smith. This beast want to call her own maiden name Pinkett. You see that that already should show you that that's wrong. She's so proud she want to keep that name anyway. But that's that's just against the scriptures, man. Well, once that time comes, the heavenly Father even show you that once that time comes. Isaiah 4 and 1, and in that day seven women shall take hold of one man, saying, We will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name. You you won't want our last name for the protection. To do what? To take away our reproach. They don't want to suffer. A lot of females are gonna join onto one righteous Israelite man and to take away the pain that's gonna come upon the entire world. As it is written here, Revelation 3 and 10. No, 11. No, 10. 10. Because thou hast kept, my, hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon, the, come upon all the world, to try them that dwell upon the earth. So, these females are going to get away from that pain, man. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, hey, we shall see when of you should, which of you shall be chosen. So, it's First John chapter 3, verse 8. He that committed sin is of the devil, for the devil sinned from the beginning. For this purpose, the son of Yahweh was manifest. Yeah, for that purpose, to, to get him out of here. That he might destroy the works of the devil. Whosoever is born of Yahweh doth not commit sin, for his seed remained in him, and he cannot sin, because he is born of Yahweh. A lot of Israelite men, man, you can't come with that nonsense type of sin upon them, because they're going to they, they feel fucked up trying to do that. They're not going to do that, man. You know what I'm saying? So the spirit of Yahweh is within them. Even though we all sin, right? Certain sins, brothers will just not do, man. You know, it's it's like it graved in them. That's why the Lord said, if it would be possible, they would deceive the very elect. The elect has a certain seal upon them. You can't get them, man. You can't get them. It's not possible. The Heavenly Father didn't create it. It didn't create it to be possible. <laughs> Going on, verse 10. In this, the, ch the sons of Yahweh are manifest, and the sons of the devil, well, the, all the children of the devil, but anyway, it, it would say son too. And the sons of the devil, whosoever doth, but it says children here, but you know what I mean. I hope you know what I mean. Whosoever doth not righteousness is not of Yahweh, neither he that loveth not his brother. You are not of Yahweh, Basham Yahweh Shai. Let me 
to me, right? Yeah. For this is the message that ye heard from the beginning, that we should love one another, not as Cain, who was of that wicked one, and slew his brother. And wherefore slew he him? Because he was a demon, unrighteous, because his own words were evil, and his brother's righteous. He got jealous. Marvel not, my brethren, if the world hates you. Everybody loves everybody that follows Caesar Borgia. They love him. They hate the Hebrew Israelites, though. Right, so, and, um, yeah, I'm done with this one. And then another one for the sons of uh, Yahweh, which is yeah, Jude 1 and 6, 2 and 4, which is here. Second Peter's chapter 2, actually only 4. Hey, what is this? Yeah. Actually only 4, but I'm going to read the whole chapter anyway. Now it says here, Second Peter's chapter 2, verse 1. But there were false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you, who privately shall bring in damnable heresies, which is basically doctrines, right? And stuff like that. Heresies. Even denying the Lord that bought them. Because we are bought by Ahawashai, which is the adoption, right? And bring upon themselves swift destruction. So they're going to get killed. The false prophets are going to get killed. And the false teachers are going to get killed. And one of the worst uh, punishments that they're going to get is Matthew 5 and 17. 19. Whosoever therefore shall so break one of these little... What color is it? Oh, yeah. Whosoever... Wait. Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments and shall teach men so. So these false prophets and these false teachers that are teaching our people, oh, oh you, you, you can just you can just eat pork and stuff like that. Those are the those are the wicked pastors that follow after Yahweh Shai. They are like the, 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 their father, Satan. You know what I'm saying? Because un unphysically they are killing people. Right? Because if you feed them a false doctrine, you're destroying them. You're gonna pay for that, by the way. He shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. But whosoever shall do and teach them, right? Be a doer of the word, not a hearer only. James chapter 1 and 22. Be, but be ye doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. So you better do it. Don't, don't just listen to it. Don't just hear it, actually, because listening is doing. You can hear something, but you ain't listening. For if ye be a hearer of the word and not a doer, he what what? For if any be a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like unto a man beholding his natural face in a glass. For he beholdeth himself and goeth his way, and straightway forgetteth what manner of man he is. <laughs> you don't even know what the hell you're doing, man. But whoso looketh into the perfect law of liberty, the freedom that we have, the grace, right? But the law is still there, and continue with therein, he being not for a forgetful hearer, but a doer of the work, this man shall be blessed in his deeds. So this shows you that we have liberty in the law, which is the freedom. Yeah, you get freedom to do certain things. For example, and let me give an example. What is the liberty of the law? For example, the clothing that you wear, because you're we are not allowed to wear different fabric of clothing you are not allowed to do certain things and yet you know the heavenly father gave us that liberty but he did say like hey you know you need to fix yourself man you know because that's the reason that I, I destroyed you in the first place so what makes you think that you can still keep on doing it now when i killed you for it then it would be spilled blood for nothing right no i killed you because i i you you i i punish you now I'm tired of beating you up, James, uh, uh, Isaiah chapter 1, Isaiah chapter 1 and uh, ah, 4, a sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity, a seed of evildoers, children that are corruptors, for they have forsaken the Lord, they have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger, they have gone away backward, here it comes, why should ye be stricken anymore, ye will revolt more and more, the whole head is sick, and the whole heart is faint. From the sole of the foot, even unto the head, there is no soundness in it, but wounds and bruises and putrefying sores. They have not been closed, neither bound up, neither mollified with ointment. Your country is desolate. Your cities are burned with fire. Your land 
straight is devoured in your presence, in your face, and it is desolate as overthrown by strangers. Our people are. <laughs> Verse 21. How has the faithful city become a whore, a harlot? It was full of judgment, righteousness lost in it, but now murderous. We're, we're destroying each other, man. Look at this shit. Some crazy shit is going down around there, man. And this is just 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 one that made the, the news. This is one that made the news. They be ripping each other up, and they even call themselves Chirac, man. They be ripping each other up in pieces, man. Kissing the dead body, you unclean. You need to go wash yourself, man. Shouldn't even be kissing the dead body. And then again, you know, the emotions creep upon you, so hey, but I wouldn't do it. I never did that, man. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> I'm not doing that. Why are you mad, man? You know, they're crying and stuff like that. All oh, that that type of crazy stuff. You got the northern tribers, you got the southern tribers. They're going mad dog feces crazies over there, man. You know? Right. <laughs> Full of murderers. Right. Just because we have the liberty doesn't mean that we are now supposed to be like, oh, you could just sin or whatever. No, God forbid. You have a father for, Heavenly Father forbid. You know, it says here, right, which is this a very beautiful. Right, now going on back over here. Now it says here, mm, Matthew 5 and 19, but whosoever shall do and teach them, the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. Well, how? Why also? Because you, you teach in the laws, so you'd be like, hey man, you can't do that. Well, the Lord said it. I'm just reading for you that you can't do it. Oh, but, but, but we have the liberty, right? Well, it doesn't mean that you have, you have license to sin there. Now it says here, that Daniel chapter 12, verse 3. And they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament, which is the ozone layer. So it's basically when you look at the upper thing when the sun comes up for example I don't believe in this shit uh always on there right uh, basically this right as you can see very bright and they that turn many to righteousness as the stars forever and ever that's the point the ones that turn many to righteousness shall shine Right, so now going back to over. Right, because they're gonna get destroyed. Verse two, he second Peter two and two, and many shall follow their pernicious ways. Pernicious, a very harmful effect, being a sodomy, you know, stuff like that. It's very harmful to yourself. You know, chasing money like this uh, guy called uh, what's his name again? Six nine. Yeah, this guy. You know, <laughs> he. <laughs> he can't walk the street no more. He did harmful things unto himself just for the glory of money, the greed, and fame, by reason of whom the way of truth shall be spoke as uh, shall be evil spoken of. The way of truth. That's why they speak evil of the ones that are speaking the truth, you know. And through covetousness shall they be vain words. Oh, sorry, shall they with vain words make merchandise of you? fakeness pretend just basically fakeness they're lying to you pretend to be affected by it. like oh I care about you won't you hand me that won't you hand me that then uh won't you hand them that uh, court bag money oh, not court I mean uh, not court I mean uh, church you know won't you won't you won't you, won't you pass over that uh, won't you pass that? I love you here put some money in there you know I love you right they make a merchandise of you, man. And they make, make a merchandise of you, how about Shami Hashai's word, which judgment now of a long time lingereth not, and their damnation slumbereth not. So they're going to they get theirs. It might look long to us, but a thousand years to us is a day with the Lord. So it's not long for him, it's long for us. Because you might die and never see the judgment poured upon them. You know? It had happened often. For if Yahweh spared not the angels that sin, but cast them down into hell, 
and delivered them into chains of darkness to be reserved unto judgment and spared not the old world but save but this is this is talking about the Israelites that are delivered into chains of darkness as you can see here in the book of Romans chapter 7 verse <coughs> 17. Now then, it is no more, here this is Paul, the Apostle Paul, it is no more I that do it, but sin that dwelleth in me, because he was a prisoner of his own, of the of the sin, of the he was a prisoner in the body, he, he was fighting against it, but he couldn't win. That means you're a prisoner. For I know that in me, that is, in my flesh, dwelleth no good thing, for to will is present with me. Yeah, you want to, it is present with you, to will it is present with you. But how to perform that which is good, I find not. You'd be like, I don't, I don't know how to do it. It is where it's it's it's, it's, it's fucking my it's messing up my head, man. You want to do something, you know that it is good to do, but you can't do it. Like on the Sabbath day, it's just a demon in you, like, hey man, let's just go out there, you know, just walk. What? I I never often feel this desire to do that. On the Sabbath day, then when they come, you know, it's a demon, boy. Anyway, for that was just a one example. Uh, but how would okay? Verse nineteen: For the good that I would, I do not. Right, the good things that I want to do, I don't. But the evil which I would not, that I do, and I know this to be a fact, man. Sometimes I'm asking myself, like, what what the hell am I doing in my head? What am I trying to do? Today was the Shabbat. And I was I was just trying to look at the, you know, garbage, man. I looked up the fight between Will Smith and Chris Rock. You know, I was looking at comedians. Uh, I clicked on a few, like Corey, Holm, Corey, Corey Holcomb, if that's his name. I clicked on him. He was ripping on uh, that ball here. Oh. <laughs> I found it funny as hell. But I was not supposed to be doing that, man. I was supposed to be digging into the scriptures, man. You know? But anyway. And I, I did at the end, but still. That, ma that madness was there. It's there. I still did it. I still clicked on that video. You know what I'm saying? But then, uh, yeah, so... You shouldn't. I, I don't want to be um, entertaining myself upon the Shabbat, man. On the Sabbath day, I want to just. I should just be looking into scriptures or just do nothing, go take a nap or something, man. Anyway, so it says here, verse twenty. Now, if I do that, I would not. I mean, if I do that thing that I w I would not. It is no more I that do it, but sin that dwelleth in me. So you're a prisoner, right? In your own body. Your spirit is a prisoner in, in the body, right? I find then a law that when I do good, evil is present with me. Yes, it is. Damn sure it is. For I delight in the law of Yahweh. After the inward man, you actually really love the law, right? But I see another law in my members, which is your body. But your inward man is your mind, your spirit, which you have. But your members are your body, warring against the law of my mind. So you have the body fighting against the mind and doing what? And bringing me into captivity to the law of sin, which is in my members, in your body. So captivity goes into prison. <coughs> Being captive. The condition of being imprisoned or confined right O wretched man that I am who shall deliver me from the body of this death Yahweh Shai because he said here that he said it in John 6 also but then I'm going to read this one for now uh, where is it again verse 55 O death, where is thy sting? O grave. Uh, 1 Corinthians 15 and 60 and uh, 55. O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? Because death always stings. And vic uh, gra the grave always wins. Which is hell, by the way. The sting of death is sin. So if you sin, you die. And the strength of sin is the law. Right? So, 
Pardon, pardon, pardon. I don't know how to explain this one, but it's a, uh, it's, it's a. Uh, let me see. I can explain it best. Strength of sin is the law. Mm. Yeah, I don't know how to explain this one, but <laughs> wait. Let me try my best. Maybe I should. I should say it the best way possible. I'm gonna just go in a globally, not globally. I mean, I'm gonna glance over it. It goes into that uh, law. Hmm, should I actually explain like that? I know what it means, but cut it, cut it, I forgot it. Wait. <laughs> right, I got it. Now, this is uh, Romans chapter 4 and 15. Because the law worketh wrath, right? For where no law is, there is no transgression. Therefore, it is a faith that it might be by grace to the end that the promise might be sure to all the seed of, of, of uh, Abraham.